Well, it's been a while between drinks. Had some knee surgery, nothing major, but enough to put me out for about six weeks. And uh, well, good things come to those who wait and have acquired a new property. It's a fallow property, never hunted it, couple of hundred acres, rolling hills. There's some plantations up the back. It just looks spectacular. Um, so I couldn't do it without my good man, Geordie. Geordie's coming along. He's here for the ride. So sit back, relax. If there's a fallow deer, sorry, but it's going down. Locals are pretty friendly, especially this guy. Have a go at the size of him. Jesus. These child seats double as gun holders. Oi, well, Geordie, what's happened, mate? What's helped to us? Just go for a drive, and you spotted two beautiful fellows sitting on the edge of some fringe. <laughs> We've literally been diving. We've come over this ridge, and there's two fellows bedded, sitting still. And Geordie wants a pelt, so I've told him he has to neck shoot or head shoot the animal. And a bedded fellow doesn't get much easier, so, um, all right, fingers crossed Geordie can get it. They're just over that rise, they're just there. Make sure you head shoot them, Jordy. Meow! 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 They're gone. They're gone. It didn't help that we rolled the Hilux to within 40 metres of them before we saw them. <laughs> anyway, we've got some footage, we've seen some deer. down there, the rest are in the hills.
So right now, we're working on the mystery disappearance of Geordie's fellow. This is what happens when you leave a neck shot animal and go get a coffee, it runs away. And now, <laughs> this thing was dead. We saw it, it was dead. And we did see a fox when we rocked up, but I don't think a fox dragged the whole deer. So, Geordie's right down the valley having a look. And I know, rule of thumb, an injured animal doesn't go uphill. But, I just had a wedgie circling this thick stuff behind me, up and high. And, um, I just assumed maybe you could see it, maybe it just trotted like 10 metres uphill, went in the thick. And the second theory is, when we were driving along, I saw a fox down here and I was 99% sure I saw the deer too. And the, um, we're thinking maybe if the deer was just resting, getting its breath back, that fox might have been that 1% that, you know, got the adrenaline going and it's just giving it one last crack. Oh, this is not how you want to hunt to end as a hunter, but we'll keep looking. Fingers crossed. They say the best way to learn in life is from your mistakes. Yeah, I did that last time. That's so, I put another fucking shot in it. Jordy's a bit upset. That fellow's gone. We just looked for it for two hours. There was some blood where it, where it sat for ages. And um, it's gone. No blood trail. We don't have a dog. It's so thick in there, blackberries. We just can't find anything. There's a wedgie up above us. And we tried to even look where the wedgie was circling, but nothing. So, well, I'll be buggered. So everyone, if you shoot an animal, don't assume anything. Always make sure it's bloody down for good. Because, uh, see that over there? That's one very upset little boy.